Bill, I'm assuming from what you're writing is that you don't agree with that, that the Fed didn't blow it. I, I, that's correct. I don't see it that way. The Fed is doing what it can to support the availability of credit to households and businesses. And the Fed is basically trying to prevent the kind of feedback loop that we saw during the financial crisis, in which markets become impaired, and that reduces the availability of credit to worthy borrowers, and that actually makes the downturn worse. But the Fed can't do some, anything about the initial demand shock caused by the coronavirus. That's why this is very different than the financial crisis. All the Fed can do is support market functioning and make sure that the cost of credit is low. But to basically bolster demand to support incomes, what we need is fiscal policy. So before we get to fiscal, I mean, if you just look at some of the signs, that ability for the market to function is just not working in terms of that we're seeing a huge dollar crunch. You see three-month LIBOR uh, spiking to the highest level since 2008. You're having the swap lines with the Fed. They're working, but that's not where the stress actually is. What does the Fed do with that? Well, I think the Fed is going to be looking very closely at what's happening in terms of the money markets, in terms of how they're functioning. Uh, they'll be certainly focused on the commercial paper market. They'll be focused on what's happening in the interbank funding market. And if that, if that situation continues to deteriorate, then I think we'll start to see the kind of special emergency interventions that we saw in 2008. Uh, did that mean that we'd see sort of a Treasury backstop for the Fed buying commercial paper, for example? Like, is that the kind of thing that we're going to be talking about? That's certainly possible if, if the markets don't uh, don't work properly. Uh, the key for the Fed, though, is uh, that they need uh, some support from the from the U.S. government because the Fed can't engage in uh, liquidity facilities that uh, expose it to loss. Mm -hmm. uh, if the Fed were to do that, that, people would accuse the Fed of actually embarking on fiscal policy. So the Fed needs some government support for these emergency facilities like they like, like they got during uh, 2008. Do you feel like the conversation between, say, Fed Chair Jay Powell and uh, Steve Mnuchin can be done in the same way that it was back in 2008? Uh, everything I know suggests that they have a very good relationship, a very good working relationship, so I don't see any big problems there. So then in terms of the actual government taking its own policy response, what do you think needs to be done? Because now Congress is saying things like, let's just cut some checks and, and, and just send them out to people. Like, what needs to be done, like, today to help? Well, I think that's actually a good approach. I mean, what's going to happen to people who can't work is that their incomes are going to fall pretty sharply, and people have obligations that they have to stay current on. So I think one good idea is to actually send out checks to households and keep those checks flowing until the coronavirus uh, uh, moderates and we actually have an economic recovery. Is there anything, though, that they can do to avoid a recession here in the U.S.? <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty difficult at this point. I mean, we have pretty broad-based shutdowns at this point, and the rest of the world's also highly affected. So uh, it seems to me that, you know, it, it's certainly going to be a very sharp downturn uh, in the second quarter. You know, whether it goes on quite long enough to be a, a recession, uh, I think it probably will be a, a recession when it all is said and done.